One crop farming is over. Agroforestry is a real, actionable way to regenerate soil, clean our water, capture our carbon, produce a healthy abundance of nutritious foods, natural medicines, sturdy building materials, and preserve heirloom seeds to bring valuable products directly to the market. It's where working with nature, traditional knowledge, and human innovation come together. Agroforestry works. So come on, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, so today we're talking about ground covers here at Sueño de Vida. And when you're doing a multi-strata agroforestry system, like all that means is that you're planting things in layers. Believe it or not, the ground layer is actually one of the last things that you get to. And the reason why that is, is because if you're starting with degraded land that doesn't have any life, you know, in the soil, right? And you just plant things directly in the ground without a tree canopy and without any leaf fall, they really, really suffer, okay? And especially because a lot of ground cover plants like turmeric and taro and good root crops, they need shade. If you plant them out in direct sun, they're also really going to suffer. So your ground cover layer actually comes after your canopy gets established. So just, just remember that. Now, I'm showing you here actually an exception to what I just said. So we're gonna start with the exception. This is camote, this is tropical sweet potato, and this can actually be planted in a wide open area and it actually needs more sun. So camote or tropical sweet potato, underneath all these vines in the soil, there's uh, sweet potatoes and they start with just a little leaf coming out and you just stick them in the soil just like a potato and you get this great big beautiful vine and it covers up everything. This is a great thing to plant if you've recently moved onto your land and you've caused a disturbance. And by what a disturbance I mean is maybe you cleared a little area with a tractor and you've got a lot of exposed soil. Before your grass comes back, right? Before the things that you want, don't want to come back, come back, get some sweet potato in the ground. Okay, so first ground cover plant we're gonna talk about here is camote or sweet potato, and don't worry because I'm starting a list for you guys. And then from there, we'll, look, we'll walk up to another area of our food forest and I'll show you some ground cover plants you can use once your system is a little bit more established. I'll give you a little view of, this is our sort of like our understory food forest here. We've got pineapple, We've got a lot of colorful, uh, I guess you could call them like ornamental plants in this area, but they attract a whole lot of birds, especially hummingbirds. So it's a very beautiful area. The vegetation here is very dense. We have a uh, naranjilla, turmeric, ginger, taro. So just giving you and I, I guys an idea of some other understory plants that you can use in your regeneration system. Turmeric, ginger, taro, pineapple, all great stuff. Uh, lots of bright flowers to bring in the pollinators and the beneficial bugs. And then here we... Hey guys, so now I'm uh, harvesting some of these uh, ground cover veggies that we grow here. So one of our favorites is called papachina here in Ecuador, or the Chinese potato. Other people know it as taro. And uh, you'll know it because it has these nice green leaves, but underneath it's just like a potato. So a lot of times people are just like really disappointed when they find out we can't grow potatoes here because it's a little too warm and a little too humid. But we have these great things instead. We have papachina or Chinese potatoes or taro and they bake up to a delicious creamy consistency. Uh, it's a really nice food, really good to have around. So it's a great thing that you can pretty much, and they're great, they, they make a lot of shade. Um, they're very hardy, they can grow in almost any soil. And then if you want to replant them, it's super easy. You just leave some pieces in the ground. Yeah? Bam, replanted, done, okay? So super easy, low maintenance vegetable to grow here in the tropics and subtropics is taro. So if you but one thing we're really focusing on here is uh, this lovely thing that I'm gonna take out of the ground, which I know is ready because the leaves are dying back. So let's see, let's see what I can get here from this plant. It's so beautiful, so amazing. It's my favorite thing ever in living in the cloud forest is turmeric. Okay, so turmeric is of course very uh, known now by even NIH has written a study on turmeric and its anti-inflammatory properties. It's such a great medicine and uh, helps with arthritis, helps with digestion, uh, helps to keep you warm, makes great warming drinks and loads of antioxidant benefits to turmeric. 
and it grows so easily here. So again, I mean, it's just beautiful to look at and inside it's actually this beautiful golden orange. So if you ever buy turmeric guys in the store and powdered turmeric and it's yellow, it's not good, okay? That's been mixed with dyes and rice flowers and all kinds of cheapo stuff. Turmeric should be this beautiful orange in color, okay? So those are... Okay. So something I have definitely learned living down here in Ecuador, in a warm subtropical area of Ecuador especially, is that root vegetables tend to look really gnarly when you take them out of the ground. Case in point, papachina, okay? Chinese potato or taro. But once you get them cleaned up, they look really beautiful. So this is all the turmeric that I took out. I took it down to our lagoon and I, I washed it down there in the freshwater spring. And uh, it's just beautiful, really beautiful, yeah? So you can see how, oh, it's kind of like, oh, let me get another one. A little hard to break there. So it's very beautiful orange inside, yeah, super good. Okay, it's full of antioxidants, good anti-inflammatory medicine. By the way, I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice, but I have had in my personal experience, if you don't mind a little anecdotal evidence, uh, uh, good experience with turmeric for inflammatory conditions. It's also great for mosquito bites, very good for my digestion, etc. I think it's just fantastic. Um, the other thing that I took out, yeah, the papachina, remember that, that gnarly looking thing? So covered in soil that you couldn't even really see what was going on with it, but it is. It's very delicious, kind of like a potato, but a little bit creamier on the inside. So let me show you what that looks like on the inside. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and it cooks up nice and creamy and white. Don't eat these raw, just like potatoes. Like most root vegetables, they have an acid or a compound in them that is mildly toxic, so they definitely need to be cooked. So anyway, ground cover vegetables here, uh, ground cover foods here in uh, subtropical humid climates. Highly recommend papachina or taro, and again, uh, turmeric, and of course also camote, which is also a tropical sweet potato. Pineapple is also another really good one. And again, I'm always looking for more things to grow on the ground here. Please don't tell me to grow temperate climate things like cabbages and you know, all that kind of stuff that you need cool weather for, okay? Please, if you're in a humid subtropical climate and you've got a good thing that I can grow in my ground cover layer, please let me know. Okay, so we are talking... <laughs>